All right, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday, September 20th. I'm unloading here in Whitesboro, Texas. I loaded some uh, mono calcium phosphate in Joplin, Missouri yesterday. And there was a little frustrating there. They, uh, when I checked in, they only had, the guy on the intercom told me they only had one worker there at the moment and it would, they would get to us when they could get to us. I got back there, there was four of us in line, so I ended up sitting there for three hours. And that prevented me from getting down here before they closed. So uh, I did take advantage of my extra time and stopped and put some new steer tires on this, on the truck. And, and now we're here on this Monica. I'm gonna show you this stuff because it's a little uh, interesting. All right, sometimes when you're I'm loving some of these products uh, like monocalcium phosphate. It's it's a dense material, so sometimes these augers uh, will lock up on them if they get too much product inside their little pit. So this place puts basically a buffering board down there, and let me show you what that does. So as you can see, I'm unloading. It's not unloading very fast. Let me just turn this down so you can. See the hole, I'm gonna shut it off real quick. That little hole, that's, that's all the room you got. So, just gotta find your sweet spot there. And uh, get it all special. Now, what does that mean for me? That means, you know, it's not wheat or even ribbon granules for that matter. It's, uh, it's stuff that just takes time to unload. So uh, I'm gonna, I'll let you know at the end of this how, exactly how long it took, but I'm guessing it's gonna take about an hour and a half to unload it because of that buffering slot. I don't know what else to call it. You know, smaller holes. But uh, I uh, made a mistake this week. I forgot my damn GoPro at the house. So I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna compile some videos of loading and unloading this week. But uh, not going to be any road stuff. Sometimes I know that gets a little boring anyway. But and so this week we're going to be putting some info out instead. So show you what this looks like here. So there's the pit I unloaded at. Now come off this main street here in Whitesboro and turn down Walnut Street here. And as you can see, there's no access to go directly over the pit. So. You can either pull on or you can pull down there and back on. I don't think it really matters. Um, and then you can see you got to get a back back up back down there to get out of here. But Whitesboro, Texas. And you know, I just washed my truck last Wednesday or Tuesday. It's already trashed. So we'll be watching it again. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Depends on where we go. And there's my new Michelin steer tires. Let's talk about that real quick. Let's talk about tires. I'd like to know from you guys, what tires do you put on? I, unless, I absolutely can't avoid it. I put Michelins on my, on my truck. Uh, why? Uh, the last set of steers I had on here were 180,000 miles and I haven't had any other brand steer tire be able to do much, not even close to that. And I, and I, I think it's a lesson learned because I put, I, I put some good years on them and, uh, before and I, I punched a hole in the side of one of them about two months ago and we went to a place in Henry, Oklahoma. The only thing they had was this cheap China crap. So I really had no choice but to put it on there. And I mean, I could have driven it for a while still, but it was already wearing uneven and just junk. So I think even though these things cost more money out the gate, you're saving money in the long run. Tell me what you think about that because, uh, I, I mean, I think there's other decent tires out there, but as far as, I mean, my truck has 420,000 miles on it, 
and I'm on my second set of drives and this is my third set of steers and it's been Michelin's the whole time and my drive tires I guarantee you're gonna last for at least another hundred thousand miles with the tread they have on them but anyway your thoughts best tires I want to hear it all right I told you this morning I was gonna record me loading and unloading but man everything was like happening so fast boom 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 uh, I got unloaded went straight to this place in Sulphur Bluff, Texas. I'll let you look that up. Out in the middle of nowhere. Loaded the soybeans and I took them to the yard. And I'll, uh, just real quick, I took a little video of us unloading that. I'll let you see that right here. Antonio, one of the workers at Oakley that works in the yard, helped me out to get the video. Shout out to him. <laughs> See, it dumps pretty fast. Uh, those big pits, I mean, each hopper's empty in about one minute. So it's in and out real fast. I uh, went and washed out, got my load, loaded some uh, roofing granules to go to Ardmore. I'm about two hours from Ardmore now. And I was loaded, and from the time I entered the gate until being loaded and had my pa paperwork, I was there for 21 minutes. And I know from talking to a few buddies that are down there right now, I'm one of the lucky ones tonight, I can tell you that. But anyway, uh, short video today, I know. Uh, kind of really interested to see what you guys say about the whole tire thing. And what's your brand? What do you like to use? What do you run? And that's it. Uh, now, if you guys are interested in coming to Oakley, just do yourself a favor. My email's at the front and at the end of these videos, just email me your phone number. Uh, if you got questions and you want them answered, just email me your phone number and I'll call because uh, I get notifications on my emails when they come through and for whatever reason, my notifications on YouTube, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's, you know, it's hours before I see them. So, and then I'm usually just telling you to email me your phone number so I can call you, but anyway. But that's it. Guys, please give me a like on this. Uh, share it if you like. And if you got any more questions, uh, shoot me an email or you want to discuss it in the comments. We can discuss it in the comments. But it, those are usually done by me at the end of the day. Uh, that's it for now. So until next time, you guys take it easy. Go Hogs. <laughs>